YouTube, what the Total War Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai crap is going on? Heir of Carthage back in the Fall of the Samurai campaign that is bringing us very near to uh, an end, actually. It's been a lot of fun. A um, whole lot of fun. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. Our, our, our dread fleet has been repaired. Um, it can now uh, move on. So I'm thinking about moving it back over. I had another tough fleet uh, headed this direction so that we could have even more uh, bombardment possible. Repair that. And we don't need this shinobi way back here. Let's just start moving all these guys forward. We'll start converting everything we can. Actually, let's get this shinobi. Let's leave him in this... Uh, Province. So I've got a an Armstrong gun wielding army, basically up here. This one has the Shogatai, so we'll need both these armies together. We've got even more Armstrong guns here. So yeah, we've got three armies up here ready to take care of business. Uh, so I do believe that it's going to be a easy, easy punishment of our. Uh, Shogun enemies and a nice finish as far as absolutely destroying. I don't even know why I'm spending a bunch of time building these buildings. It's completely not necessary. We did capture a Chisholm on the last one. Uh, Mino was recaptured by the Sato. We might uh, see if we can incite a revolt here. Okay. Well, all of that will work out. Let's move up here and kind of get eyes on Kaga here. Let's attack the port. No, 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 I don't want to attack the port. There we go. So we hurt the military port to where I won't suffer the attrition. Uh, so yeah, I think we're all in good shape. We really just need to uh, get this fleet back over here where it can bombard Edo. And then uh, use this one to assist. So really, I think a couple turns we're going to be right where we need to be. Some of you had wanted Gatling guns. I, it's just it's not going to happen at this point. We're just not going to get to the Gatling guns because I'd have to build the uh, the buildings and everything. And it's pretty much over. And they won't do me a whole lot of good in a siege battle anyway. Where we're just going to be sieging Edo. And Edo is going to be under one of the most horrendous sieges that has ever been known. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is actually stack up like six Armstrong guns and all my Shogatai um, and Red Bears and like all, all the Shogunate troops, I'm going to try and stack them up and uh, cause problems uh, for them with what troops that, you know, ideally would be loyal to, to them. We are going to have to watch out for the military port that's up there, so that's why I want to move up plenty of ships for us to blastinate them with. And you know what I was thinking? So we got some U.S. Marines here too. Let's let's get all these guys up here. And really, what we would want to do, because the spear levy, uh, let's get the spear levy back here. Let's get the three Armstrong guns into this army. So now I've got six Armstrong guns here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are we we can go one more unit. Let's get one more Imperial Infantry and throw them over here. And then we'll just get this army to kind of hold back. So yeah, now I've got six Armstrong guns. Um, I've got uh, Kyoto Police and Shogatai here. So should be, uh, you know, an ironic punishment. And then we've got the massive bombardment that will, will be on the way from both these fleets. So that ought to pretty much get the trick done. Yeah, that's all the Shogatai that I have near, so I'm not going to be able to get any others up. So that'll have to do. And this request did come from, uh, I believe it was the Avenger at Alipa that requested I do this. And I have to say that I like his way of thinking here when it comes to... Uh, can I not persuade the troops? No, because his daimyo's there. Alright, good. Well, we assassinated the daimyo, so on the next turn I can persuade his troops away. I should have used that guy to... We've got some troops holding back here if we have to, so if they make a move at me back here, we'll be able to hold strong. And I can just go ahead and recruit up some troops back here, too. Let's get a Katana Kachi, too. 
So I'm gonna try and keep my focus. My enemies at Chisholm has pretty much already been converted. Uh, converted rather quickly. Wait a minute, what did I construct? Yes, yeah, in. The port, clay kiln. Oh yeah, we got our guys here. Bombard the target. Okay. So I'm keeping their port uh, knocked down, basically. I'm just going to make a run on Kaga real quick. And I'll just uh, take the taxes off of Chizen and see if we can hopefully calm them down enough. I've got this Ishin Shishi here that should be able to rally the populace. And we'll move this ninja forward. Let's see if we can sabotage. There we go. Ranked up that uh, ninja too. And let's see. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready to make our move on Edo on the next turn. The kind of bombardment that they're going to be under at Edo is just going to be unreal. And what poor few troops remain there may not even be alive for my uh, Shogatai to maul. The Yanago are heading forward, assisting me in pushing forward into Honshu. It's like the Sato have a geisha back here, it's going to be too little too late. Like I said, even if they take a few provinces from me back here, there's really no stopping the victory. The march is on. Enchantment attempt, a foreign veteran increases in rank. Let's take care of the foreign veteran here. It's at Segura. Which is not too far from the front lines for me. I'm not even certain why I'm focusing too much time on this. Um, since we're so close to the end, but hey, no, no need to get lazy at the very end. Um, let's take... We're going to need to destroy the port. Let's bombard the port. So it now does not have the extra attrition that it can cause me. Okay, so we're all up in here. We got the port bombarded. Uh, these armies are all ready. And... Let's see... Alright, so I got both armies there, so we'll be able to have all the guys at once. Let's go ahead and rally the populace here. Got the ninja, we'll just do some scouting so we can keep an eye on things. We could use the ninja to sabotage the port too, which I will do. In fact, let's bring this ninja up and use him for the same. Okay, so I think the only other stuff we need to do is going to be back here. Um, there's a couple enemy armies that we need to buy off. Now we're gonna have to assassinate there because it was the daimyo. And here, let's persuade these troops. There we go. Enemy troops persuaded. We can use them to help deal with that other Sato army. So we'll take care of business back there. There is an enemy geisha there. We'll take care of her with the Ishin Shishi momentarily as well. Shouldn't be too big of a worry. Tatomi is probably capable of sustaining itself as far as being happy. So we might be able to even move this agent out of the city. Yeah, yeah we're good. Let's go ahead and move him back this way to help out with this effort. Here we go. I don't know if my army didn't reach Kaga or the Yanango will get there first, but again, it doesn't matter. The fall of the Shogun is near. And Japan is about to be unified under the Emperor. Looks like Kaga is going to fall there. We'll just auto-resolve with my allies here. 
And I'm going to let them roll on and I'll roll on there too. Yep, this is good. I'm just going to auto-resolve this because we're just going to buy those troops off anyway. And that takes them off of my payroll. And it's going to waste movement points for that army so that they can't actually get to one of my cities. Okay. Yeah, the research is going to keep going, though, again, at this point, it's not very important, really. Okay, so... I... Let's go ahead and assassinate that general again, that Ishin Shishi just ranked up. Okay... We could incite a revolt there. Mino, 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 Mino is there. Let's get rid of this geisha. There we go. And we can... We need to get that army out of the city so that I can persuade them uh, to join my cause. That's really the only thing I need to do. So let's bring... Let's bring this fleet in and attack the port. We actually have to bombard it, I guess, so... These guys can help with uh, the destruction of Edo. So I think we're all in position. I've got a massive fleet and my two armies all positioned, ready to, uh, to take Edo. Sabotage the port. Shinobi executed. That's good. Let's send another one in. <laughs> there we go. So the port ought to be royally jacked and um, out of commission. Yeah, these poor schmoes here are just going to get absolutely destroyed. We're going to do a night attack too. Or no, 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 because that takes away my reinforcements. We'll control the large army. So here you go, folks. The complete and utter destruction of Edo. And it will be destruction on a scale unknown in previous... I mean, this is going to be brutal. Like, absolutely brutal. Not that it bothers me, but... <laughs> Between the Armstrong guns and everything else, yeah, this is just going to be absolutely brutal. Ugly. The naval bombardment is going to be intense. And then the Shogatai are going to have a pretty easy time munching through anything that's left. I'll use my Armstrong guns to destroy their towers. Uh, same thing with the naval depart uh, bombardments. Let's start deployment. Oh, I never turned on the, the debug cam again. Dang it. That's irritating. I could actually get some guns up on top of that little ridge there. Let's get... Let's get two Armstrong guns and get up to the top of that. Gosh dang, man, the camera is really pretty bad. Uh, I'll start another one way over here. And then... Let's put one here, one here. Another there. Just get my bodyguard somewhere out of the way. It's not going to really matter. And I'll put some saber cab over here or something. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Oh, this is really crappy without the debug camera. I've forgotten how much I came to love it on Shogun 2. Let's get up here with the uh, Armstrong guns, get them all in place, we'll let my naval bombardment cool down. Let's go ahead and unlimber here, though do not fire at will. Unlimber, do not fire at will. Okay, my reinforcing troops are on the way. The only troops down there that I'm concerned about are the Shogatai. And we'll bring the Kyoto police up as well to help in the punishment. Okay, the naval bombardment is 
getting there. Those Armstrong guns got a long time before they'll be done moving. Same thing over here. Let's take the units that are unlimbered and let's go ahead and target the uh, the towers. Get them out of the way. I'm gonna fast forward for a minute while my uh, I'm gonna bring all this Shogun infantry and other infantry of interest. It's gonna take them a long time to get in position, but it's okay, we got plenty of bombardment. That tower over there is being destroyed. There's an archery tower further up. I don't know if it's in range of the cannons. Let's check and see. Just, yeah, it's in range. I'll see if I can hit it. The archery towers are going to be destroyed so that they won't have that to hold over my head. Here comes the first naval. So this is going to be 48 shells coming in pounds. So yes, 48 shells. You heard that right. Um, all those guys are just spear levy. I want my I want my shogun or I want my infantry to chew them up. So I'm gonna actually put this bombardment uh, further down here. So it'll chew up some of their shooter troops. Okay, uh, almost all the enemy towers are gone. I just want to hit, like I said, some of the enemy shooter troops. Here comes the naval bombardment. Just you all get a load of this. This is going to be one heck of a naval bombardment. Yep, it's on the way because the enemy's running. There it comes. Steel pain rain, folks. Yeah. See, the enemy fort, that, yeah, the gatehouse just got destroyed. Their walls are being destroyed. I mean, the enemy fort is just being absolutely pounded. <laughs> so, yes, Edo, Edo being hit by all the shells. They're, uh,. Their shooter units over here being ripped apart by my Armstrong guns. Uh, so again, basically I'm, I just want to soften up all their shooter units so that my um, my Shogatai, Kyoto Police, US Marines, Red Bears can just go into melee and, and absolutely punish all the uh, all the enemy troops. So I'm hoping that some of their spear levies survive the bombardments so that I can... Oh wow, that unit just got just pasted. They're gone. Halt there. Uh, we've got this unit. Let's see if we can hit them. Oh, this unit just got wasted by the Armstrong guns. So yeah, my Armstrong guns are just utterly destroying all these units. Let's unlimber here. Do not fire at will. I'm gonna destroy the cannon. Like I said, the most most important thing is for me to just destroy their shooter troops. Okay, enemy is not firing back, but I'm hitting them. Good, 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 good. That unit's gone. So my Armstrong guns have absolutely destroyed their target there. And let's just use this unit to make sure that the gatehouse is destroyed so that my guys can waltz right in. I'm gonna need to fast forward so that all my melee troops get into position. The gatehouse is gone. One of my spare cannon shots actually I thought may have hit one of these units it did. Yeah, this this is just absolute destruction. Uh, my naval fire support mission is ready. I'm gonna drop it over here on their uh, few remaining shooter troops, and then once my my men have collected themselves back here, we'll get down to business. I've got all my I've got all my uh, once shogunate supporters moving that way. We got one arrow tower to take out, so. 
Yep, Edo is, is being thoroughly dismantled here. There's the uh, naval fire support flare. It's always a good place to be standing when 48 explosive shells are inbound. I'll try and get you all some nice close-ups here. Yes. You can try to run, but it probably won't do you much good. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'd say their shooter troops are uh, pretty well gone. Just look at the destruction, people. Look at the destruction. Their arrow tower being destroyed with Armstrong guns. Okay, so we have thoroughly dismantled the enemy troops to the point... <laughs> I didn't even get to go in and kill them in melee. <laughs> I just completely bombarded it. There you go. The sight of my troops was too much for what was left of the Shogunate cowards. So I didn't even get to use my melee troops, just the, the sheer amount of bombardment there. Uh, I, I apologize, I, I wanted to use the melee troops, but we just didn't even get to it. The bombardment was so severe. There used to be some Ewoks in this party, really. Who are willing to pay its price. We have paid that price, and now we reap the rewards. The time of the Shogun is over. All hail the mighty Emperor! Alright, folks, we did it. That is going to be a saga victory. Um, and a massive victory at that. Let's see, is there like a stat screen or anything else that's loading out to you? Please don't tell me we froze up on the, uh, on the last screen here. That would be kind of pathetic. You alive in there, Shogun 2? Okay, campaign 1, there we go. Alright, so here's some of the statistics just for the fun. 165 battles victories and heroic victories that's hilarious so land battles naval battles I only lost two provinces we captured 39 we destroyed 849 enemy units for the loss of only 27 of our own we sunk 61 ships losing only 18 captured 32 ships we killed 41 enemy agents assassinated um, Let's see. Alright, I would kill a lot of people in single combat and character assassination, like a whole lot. Incited 10 revolts. Let's see what else we did. Total Koku earned. We earned a total of 6.227 million Koku. Uh, let's see. We spent 5.257 million Koku. Interesting. It's too bad they don't have like a total number, like a kill count here. I still say that's something to get in, but it's 205 turns to victory. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, we're going to return out to the main menu here. Uh, it's been a fun campaign. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Uh, definitely looking forward to bringing you more. What I'm going to do, and I'll let you know when it happens, is I'm going to take all the save games from this, and if you want to play my Saga campaign from any turn, or any save, like episode number is what it'll be, I'm probably going to try and get them up in my Google Drive and I'll let you all know when they're available. Um, that way you all can come in and, and get on the, the Google Drive and like take the public uh, thing, put it in your save file and play it. So what's next? Um, well I'll tell you what's next. Uh, we're going to do a regular Shogun 2 campaign. Some of you want Rise of the Samurai. We may get to that eventually as well. Which, uh, which campaigns could I play? Well I'm not going to tell you which ones I could play, but I'll tell you which ones I will not. I have played a Shimazu campaign already, so there's no need for that. Um, I have played an Usegi campaign and an Otomo campaign. Um, and I want to say that we did a Tokugawa campaign. We did. So I have done Shimazu, Tokugawa, Otomo, and Usegi. So it would need to be another one of the factions like Chozokabe, Hojo, Oda, Date, Takeda, um, Hattori. Uh, and I did an Ikoiki campaign, I believe, as well. So, yeah. 
So, Chosokabe, um, Hojo, Mori, um, Oda, Date, Takeda, or Hitori. And I will make another video separate of this um, and talk about uh, basically which uh, options you have and uh, specify it and then I'll put a link. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try since some of you want me to. I'll try the straw poll idea and let you all vote there. So uh, keep an eye out on the next uh, couple days, probably next three or four days. I'll get a vote up, let you all vote, and then by the end of the week we'll pick what's going to be the next campaign. Hope you all enjoyed it. Saga victory. Kentucky Fried Victory. Good news! We own all of Japan. And uh, there will be a Kentucky Fried Chicken on every street in Japan. It's one thing that uh, Apache the Emperor promises. Uh, more heart attacks than people can handle. Swords will abound. And of course, uh, whenever you're giving out swords, I have to also give out a lot of sake so that people can uh, in, uh, inebriate themselves to make the appropriate decision with those swords, which is pretty important. Uh, I'm trying to think. Peasants will be uh, treated very poorly. Um, even though there's not a war, we still need meat shields. Uh, Patchy is going to have his emperor self hauled around on a cart uh, with peasants, of course, that he whips frequently. So, of course, it's going to be a good time for Japan. <laughs> Just kidding. Hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage signing out for now.